I was in the house the other day, just hoovering the floor, when this 18th century time traveller came knocking at the door. White curly hair, a cocked hat, a tailcoat long and purple, a frilly shirt and stockings like the scarlet pimpernel. He said his time machine had broke. He needed some assistance. Could he come in and see the toolbox and would I help him fix it? I said, I'm sorry to let you down, like, but we've never met before and I've just spilt a load of quavers on the living room floor. He said, please, sir, I'm begging you. I've made a huge mistake. I came here to view the wonders of the future human race. I thought I'd find utopia. All creatures would be free, but this world seems more unequal than 1783. The rich are so much greedier, the hungry so much more so. The towers are so dirty and no one says hello. And when I ran back to my time machine to try and ride it home, some ewes were running round it and pelting it with stones. I said, it's now to do with me, mate. No one can help you here. I've got a load of crisps to pick up and I'm not an engineer. He seemed to get the message. But as he turned around, I glimpsed his desperate face, the way his head went drooping down. I said, hang on, wait, I'm sorry. Maybe I've been a little cruel. Why don't you come in and I'll see what I can do. So I led him down the hallway into the living space and he gazed around in wonder at the gadgets of our age. He picked up the remote and I was going to make some tea when he pulled off his wig and cried, We knew it! We knew you had a telly! We've got you now, Mr McCabe! No one escapes our plans! And that's how I got busted by the TV license man.